I've been buying the tickets along the way with the uh, Eurorail Pass to see if I could do that. Um, I'm in Barcelona now. It was a little more difficult in Barcelona at the last minute. Uh, you can't book the, uh, you can't reserve it online. I called this morning and you can't do it over the telephone within 24 hours. So you have to come to the station. So I'm learning that. So I wanted to try it. So the best I could do right now was um, Barcelona to Madrid and Madrid to Cordoba. And that cost me, with the Eurorail Pass, it cost me 1740 euros. So I'm going to end up in Cordoba tonight. I still have two days left on my Eurorail Pass, my seven-day pass, which uh, it is a good, uh, good thing. But if I would have booked this ahead of time, I could have went from Barcelona to Malaga for 12 euros. behind me here too you can buy a ticket that way when I would go to Barcelona to Malaga I would usually just buy online and I buy the tourist which is the cheapest one on the uh, Ave but since I'm traveling with the uh, Eurorail Pass it's a little different so I've, I've needed some help actually with it it seems more complex you have to do a, you have to reserve a seat you don't want to buy a seat you want to reserve it so I don't know exactly what these machines maybe I'll talk to the woman and see I remember I think it was in Paris or Germany it was a little more difficult with the machine so every train station has their own um, deal at least they have someone here to help you I see a lot of people need help so this little Spanish woman here I asked her if I could uh, use the pass first she acted like she didn't know what the pass was so I don't think they're that familiar with it here in Barcelona it's surprising I feel sorry for the woman really they have about a dozen machines and she's all alone here they have another woman down on the other side that you have to go talk to for information she told me to go talk to her I speak spoke to her in Spanish I said, can you just tell me if I can use the pass to buy a ticket here? She said, I don't know. You have to talk to like someone, a supervisor or something. So there's another line over there. So it's not really that comfortable. So it seems like they want to discourage you from using this pass. So if you do have this pass, I see a lot of people book ahead of time and I can see why. Recommended that you would go ahead and, you know, ahead of time. And they don't make it easy on the internet, unfortunately. So I guess it's best to plan your trip ahead of time with this pass. You can use it. Um, I was using it at the last minute at a lot of places. I had good success. But if you have to go a long distance, uh, especially in Spain or in France, uh, it can be difficult because uh, they don't have they don't offer a lot of seats. I think they want people to pay the full price. So I'm taking the um, high-speed train, the Renfe, the Ave, back to um, Malaga. But this one it seems to be a new one. Uh, I don't know. It's, the seats are really like modern. They're really leather and uh, they're going to be showing a movie, so it's definitely an updated um, train. This is like a new one because I've taken them before, and they're not as modern, so this is a really nice one. So I don't know if I'm on a special one going to Madrid, or this is just a normal one, but it seems to be my lucky day. I had the pleasure of talking to this man named Juan, and he's um, one of the conductors, I guess, in the train here, and uh, he confirmed my suspicions. I was talking to him, he's got a little compartment behind me, and this is a newer train. Uh, it's a Siemens train. I think he said it was a German made. And you can just tell it's um, just updated compared to the other one that I'm used to taking. Uh, the seats are really luxurious. Uh, they're like a leather type seat. The seat's a little bit wider. Just everything looks like a little more space, a little updated. Uh, the train just seems to be really smooth. It's just, just a, a better quality. It seems like it's newer and um, just everything just about it seems a little bit better. Almost like luxurious. So it's really enjoyable this one. He said this is the one that normally goes between Barcelona and Madrid. And they even showed a movie on this one. They're showing a movie and, and a nice movie. So this is definitely a beautiful train. And uh, it's a great way to travel around Spain. And you can see behind me. And even the windows were really nice to, uh, to look out. So um, just even seeing the scenery, this is beautiful. So a great day and a great way to travel. Especially if you're on a long journey, you can bring food with you, so it's nice. You can bring a sandwich, you can bring uh, some water or something to drink, and you can bring some, um, I bought some yogurt, so I have my yogurt, I have a little sandwich, and I have some water, and it's a lot cheaper than a train and a lot better food, because you know, you're going to pay a high price on the train. You can get some food here, but you're going to pay a high price, and it's not going to be as good. So, And I'm happy to be back in Spain, in Barcelona, because the price was a lot cheaper than Paris and some of these other places I've been. Now, Frankfurt was expensive, Paris was expensive, so, and I don't really think it's worth it. The, it's not any better than Barcelona. Barcelona, I just had a croissant this morning, and it was good, it was very good. Um, Paris.
Everest has a good croissant, but double the price, it's not double the quality. Automatic, put your hands under here, water comes on, and then afterward, the um, I think the air dryer came out automatically. It was kind of nice. And there's a lot more bathrooms on a train than an airplane, so you don't have to really fight over the bathrooms too much. Okay, this was interesting when I got to Madrid. It's a really nice station and really looks modern, but uh, I have to change trains. And she told me to go to this man with his whiteboard. So this man with his whiteboard, the people are lining up, he's going to take us to the next train. So. That was kind of interesting. So if you have a change in Madrid, I guess you look for this man with the white uh, sign. He told me that if the change is less than 20 minutes, then this man with the sign comes here to help you. So it's something you have to look for. So if you have a quick changeover, it's actually really nice that there's someone waiting for you to help you. Uh, but the only problem is he said that he doesn't speak much English. So hopefully you speak Spanish. If you don't, then maybe you have to plan ahead for this. It's really a, a big train station. It's really modern looking and these trains are so, to me, they're so beautiful. They're futuristic looking, but, and this man I was talking to that's helping us, he's from Ecuador, so it was really nice. Uh, we had a little chat because, you know, I, I'm from, uh, I lived in Chile before and the people from Ecuador are quite similar to people from Chile. Yeah, I can see why you need some help. I mean, this place is just massive. There's just, I don't know how many trains are here, but they're all aves, they're all, the high-speed trains and they're all amazing and uh, it's just, just a, uh, they really have a good infrastructure here in Spain I, I don't know why we can't match something like this in the United States or to me we're way behind Spain and the train station in Cordoba and I'm deciding whether I should stay or go back to Malaga but uh, I can definitely feel that I'm back in Spain in the south of Spain it's much warmer I don't need this jacket anymore it's quite hot but I, I'm happy to be here and uh, I can't wait to go and maybe go to the beach because I was getting really cold in Poland and in Germany, places like that. So. so I had a long trip and I saw a lot of places and I had a lot of fun, but uh, being back in Spain, I'm here, I'm in Cordoba and I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna take the train to Malaga, I'm almost home now. But I had a really great time, like I said, but to be back in Spain, it just reminds me that this place feels like home and that's where I want to be and of all the places that I've been to there's really none like Spain. Spain is a beautiful place and it's a, it's a fabulous place and the people are warm and the sun is warm and they have all kind of these nice parties all the time. Here they're gonna have a ferry tonight like a party so the people were nice. I met a lot of nice people along my trip but there's nothing like Spain and the people of Spain so I would encourage you to come to Spain. I love Spain and that's why I live here. So I had a great trip, but I'm happy to be home. I'm happy to be in Spain. And I, I almost feel part Spanish now. So thank you for coming on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will enjoy my future videos. Thank you.